Hey party people, how's it going? My name is Fossey and this is Vampire. So, one thing I have to get off my chest. What is happening? What is actually happening? I think I gained like 12 to 15 subscribers over two days. Just just uh, alone uh, due to this, this, uh, this game here. What is happening, man? If this thing goes on, I need to uh, actually do a 100 uh, subscriber special. So stop subscribing, you fools! No, just kidding. Um, all right. So what do we need to do? We, I think we concluded our investigation here. Let me just check. There is one guy, however, here. Uh, um, I think this is a doctor. So let's check this. Um, then we have talked to everybody here. I just want to talk to this guy. What about him? Is this his Clay Cox? Yes. Good evening, Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. His uh, face texture seems a little bit off, is it? I mean, look at this. It's so, it's so smooth. Uh about the man you push in the water. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss, it cut me good. Okay. What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. <laughs> okay. This guy is so dead, man. Um, look at this. Here, here, his, his skin is so is really rough. You know what I mean? Clay had to murder. Clay is married to Edwina Cox. Uh, anemia. I think I have I have a treatment for anemia. Ooh, mesmerized resistance. Only one. Oh, 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 oh. You're a monster. You may be right. I mean, I am an asshole as well, so you may be right. Perhaps you're right. Maybe only the strongest will survive in these dark times. If there must be only one, in the end, make no mistake, I'll be the winner. Yeah, Ish don't think so. Ish don't think so. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. I guess revenge gives you balls. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. Okay. What's wrong with the Pembroke staff? That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was going to break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse <laughs> Crane. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, or like that. What's wrong with the hospital? Come on, Dr. Reed. The place is a dump. Smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Uh, I think personal questions. Whoa, whoa, this looks nice. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. I won't get caught. We must all pay. Prepare, <laughs> prepare to die soon. Oh, yeah. If blood and violence is all you understand, I'm sure it won't be long before you meet them, Mr. Cox. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boot Boys. One day I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. What is this n a name? Wet Boot Boys? Are you fucking kidding me, dude? Jesus, Wet Boot Boys. Fuck off. What can you tell me about your marriage, Clay? Marriage is the sweetest cage, they say. 
Well, I found myself locked in one with a wild animal. You mean your wife keeps you on your toes? No, I mean we both have claws and we both love to bite. <laughs> okay, your wife's letter pissed you off? Am I right to assume your wife's letter pissed you off, Clay? I was so mad, I threw away the knife she got me when we got married. Your wife gave you a knife as a wedding present. That knife has always been my lucky charm. If I'd had it in my hand when I got stabbed on that pier, I'd not have been wounded. Okay, so now we have all the hints, right? Uh, lucky charm, blood quality. We can push him to one thousand with a with a with a healing. Uh, don't you want it back? Do you want it back? I don't need it here, but if you'd be kind enough to bring it to me, oh. I'd be really grateful. A grateful Clay Cox. I might just find your knife and bring it back to you to see that happen. I can give you directions, but I'll be surprised if you manage to find it. My hideout isn't meant to be found easily. Uh huh. So we have a new investigation tool of the trait. A lucky charm. I never would have taken you as the superstitious type. We all have our flaws, Doc. Mine's to have my weapon of choice for when the really dirty business comes around. Okay. Okay. Uh, you're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Lucky you, I have medicine. Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. One second, guys. All right, there was a fly in my room and uh, it was super, super annoying. I'll leave you for now. Okay, so it is very cool to um, gather all the hints or at least um, the hints that lead to new investigations. So this is a cool thing, and now I want to talk to one last person here, because we uh, still need one more. Mm, maybe it's one of the, in these rooms here. This one I talked last to. Uh, this is this. I'm quite busy right now. No, this is the the fucking asshole here. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Uh, who is this then? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Okay, he's an ass licker. He is an ass licker. Uh... Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. Uh huh. I based my technique on my mentor's research. He helped me perfect my method. What is yours? I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. My process is purely experimental and unsuccessful. As long as you're cautious and methodical, you may remain empty-handed, but you won't fail. You're not the first one to warn me, but I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. Dude, is that exactly my words. Exactly my words. What made you choose to be a doctor? I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. Oh, shut it, man. Flattery is useless. Research is exhausting. Uh... I'll give you some advice, but understand that nothing beats practical experience, which can be exhausting and solitary work. Of course, sir. And don't worry, I will never allow myself to be a burden, uh, neither to you nor this hospital. Okay. What can you tell me about the Pembroke? Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea, but with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn about blood transfusion. You seem quite optimistic. 
It's a rare and precious attitude in these difficult times. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance and dedication for us men of science. Questions remain about our capacity to resolve the situation. True, true. Last summer, during the first wave of the epidemic, I used to joke with Milton about the extra work. We're not smiling now. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of products I ordered for my personal research, yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the errand boy for you? Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if you went personally to his shop, what with your reputation and all, he wouldn't dare to refuse the products I need. I see. Well, give me the address, for I may pass by if I have time. Aha. New investigation, just right off the back. What do you think of Dr. Ackroyd's aversion to modern medical methods? It's a shame he's so narrow-minded. Dr. Swansea taught me that science is about exploring uncharted territory. I'm convinced that's true. With the influenza and all that's going on, you should put your differences aside, don't you think? Why is it so difficult to work together? I believe that if Dr. Ackroyd had been the one to discover the transfusion process, he would be the first to recommend its use. So you believe it's just a question of jealousy and pride? Dr. Ackroyd is as proud as he is blinded by his obsolete concept of medical science. Okay, personal questions we can ask of two things here because of your argument with Ackroyd. Tell me, Thoreau. What's the real cause of your dislike for Dr. Ackroyd? He refuses to admit that your blood transfusion technique is the only way to save Mr. Fiddick. I'm convinced we must use it. What Dr. Ackroyd really said is that you lack the skill to perform this operation efficiently. Is there anything you have to say about this? It's a false conceit. Dr. Ackroyd secretly envies your reputation. His jealousy blinds him. I'm not the real target here. Okay, this seems like a... Like a really, like, like, like investigation here, right? So, who's lying? Who's telling the truth? Who's an asshole? Who's bound to be killed by me? Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? Fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Who's this Fiddick guy? Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father. Ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior, a man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Okay. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Goodbye. Um, who is this Fiddick guy, I wonder? I mean, this is the mother's boy here. And... You always knew the words to calm the children, Ellen. Ah, he's here. I don't me, want to talk to him right now because it's a bit, uh, it's a bit m much right now. What is this? Unfinished letter. My dear children, sorry I did not write to you before, but it hurts like hell just to write these few words on bloody paper. Ah, oh God, this ambulance outside. Don't worry, Daddy will go out of the hospital as soon as the doctors fix his arm. In the meantime, if you need something, go see Mr. Chadwick at the construction site and tell him you are Harvey Fiddick's children. Do you remember Robert Chadwick? The big guy with the mustache who helped me repair the house doors last spring? Go see him and ask for a few bob, and he won't refuse to spare you a few. I'm sorry I can't work anymore for now, but we'll figure out something as soon as I'm out. Don't worry, everything will be fine as soon as Daddy's arm is strong again. As soon as the doctors have fixed my arm, I... Okay, this is this Fiddick guy. Uh, unknown, unknown health status. Oi, oi, oi. Um, 
Okay. So now we have basically everything here, right? The Thorough Strickland, Acroid. Yes. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do now... What I am going to do now is uh, check this uh, investigation thing here. Track. Uh, can I only... Ah, I can only track one. One thing. Reach the pharmacy. Or retrieve the knife of Clay Cox. I think I will do this one. Um, because then I can maybe kill Kelly Cox. Let's see, where is it? Um, it is here. Yes, let me do this. Let me do this. Retrieve the knife of Clay Cox. I guess there is some uh, ass kicking involved. Ass kicking and blood sucking. Like the weather. Influenza, okay. So he said his uh, hideout is uh, hard to find. Hmm. What? District status serious, okay. Do we need to be careful here or what? What? Pridwin cadet. Fuck, they will kill me, right? The uh, vampire hunters. But I'm level 10, however. Come, 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 come. Okay, one is dead. One is dead. Fuck. Alright. We are now really strong, man. We're really strong. Okay. There are some more guys, but I don't need to go there right now. So, let's investigate a bit. So we're nearly there. Maybe here? I don't really know. Oh. Executioner level 12. Wonder where this thing could be. Probably go down, right? Oh, there's a rogue skull here. Be careful here. Just stun him and uh, kill him. Ah, oh, fuck! Okay. What is this? Okay. Ah, here it is. Large knife, yes. This must be Clay Cox's knife. A fine blade. No wonder he wants it back. I wonder if... Could we... Could, could we equip this by any chance here? Nope, we cannot. Alright. So, I think... I will just go back here. Clay... Maybe I will wander the streets here a bit. Or the canals, rather. Ah, here are the sewers. Okay. Rogue Skull. Level 5, dude! You are no match for me, mighty vampire. Okay. I think I will kill kill this Clay Cox then, because uh, I think he's of no use to us. Hey, Doc. Hello. I have found the gift from your wife. In that case, you'll be properly rewarded, Doc. Clay Cox is a man of his word. I hope that won't make me an accomplice to your future crimes. Who knows what I might do now? I feel invincible again. Okay, uh, I guess we have everything, right? So we can just kill him. We can just kill him. Mesmer's level one. Okay. 
Okay. Just go here, go down, come with me, man, come with me. Everything's fine. I mean, nobody will miss him, right? Very evil. But then I think I will stop the killing for now, at least in this district, because otherwise it will be very, very unstable. Uh, I need to go here. So ridiculous. Why why not go in there? This is so so silly that we have to follow follow a fucking blood trail here. Or whatever this is. The music is cooler ever. Mighty knight. I killed, extorted, stole, and now I die. Fuck it. I lived the way I wanted. Okay, I got something out of the wait a minute. Uh yes, this one I had. Um I got a uh, a hatchet. A hatchet. Boost hacksaw. Yeah, th this thing is also really good. More attack speed. Uh, here, the hatchet. 72 damage. Holy shit. Uh, I think I will use this. Okay. I guess we are now fatigued. Uh, I can heal, heal her, right? Ah, yeah, right. They're all suffering now from, uh, from fatigue. I don't know why, however, because I killed uh, some of their patients, so now they have. Uh, <laughs> they must be more uh, relieved. Right? I didn't kill a, a staff member, did I? Uh, let's heal her. Good evening, nurse. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, uh. Do you require medical. I will be fine. I still. Yes, give medicine. Nurse, you won't be able to help people if you're sick. Take this, and do try to get some rest. I'll try, Dr. Reed. Okay. Goodbye, nurse. So, he as well, right? Uh, who else needs assistance? Uh, wait a minute, this one. Um, so basically everyone, Milton as well. Hello, Milton. Good evening, Milton. Good evening. Trade, can I... Talk to him. Oh, yes. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. So only then I realized I could make a fortune. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. Do you know that Nurse Hawkins is thinking of leaving the hospital? That's not a surprise. We've talked about it already. Does it not bother you? Sometimes I think she may be right. We should run away while we can. The question is, where can we go? Where is it safe? Nowhere. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. This city was sick long before the epidemic, Dr. Reed. I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Okay. Do you need any med- I'm afraid I do. Like everyone in this hospital. It's a sad state of affairs when even the hospital workers- Our job brings us into contact with all kinds of infections. That's easy for you to say, Doctor. I get the feeling you don't. Uh, that's true. Goodbye. 
So, um, someone else maybe? What about this guy here? Good evening, Doctor. Re uh, no, he's healthy. Goodbye. Okay, you know what? I think I will just uh, go then. Uh, let's see. There is another investigation I could do. Missing ingredients. Reach the pharmacy. Since I'm still here, why not? Why not do this? Uh, it's not. It's not far. So let's just go, man. Let's just go. Are you dead? Uh, fuck off. Oh, oh. Shit. Shit. Whoops. Whoops. Over there. Come on, come on. Okay, Bloody this one is dead. Leech. Christ! He's dead! What? What? Why can't I can't I use my my, my thingy? Okay. To you. Shit. Haha. <laughs> Fuck you! Come on. That's yeah, quite easy if you fill the the, the stun bar. All right. Uh, what was I'm going to do? Yes, uh, the pharmacy. Right. Got a little bit distracted there. Okay, where is it? Uh, I need to go. Ah, fuck off, man. Uh, I think I need to go and kill another few. Poor lads. Poor souls. Can someone surprise him? Steady, boys! <laughs> Whoa, what? What was this? <laughs> fuck, this one. Ah, fuck it! Come on, come on! Need to heal, need to heal. Okay, this one is dead. Okay. Alright. Vampire hunters, man. So, where do you need to go? I'm nearly there. What is this? Uh, le Dazzled Skull, level 14, level 16, HG Griffin. Shit. Um, I think I will. I will give this a, pa a, a, a pass. I don't know, man. Two of them are really strong, and they are six level above me. So, I won't do this. Then, I guess it's time for me to do the uh, main mission again. And I uh, need to reach Whitechapel, so we're gonna do that. We are gonna do that. Okay. So I guess I'm done for now for with Pembroke Hospital and I will come back later to finish what I've started. What's this here? Priven Gunner, I don't need them. Ah, uh, dude. You really want to want, want to die, right? You really want to die. Level 7! Level 7! See them fancy clothes? This one's a top! Filthy piece! Come on! Ah, 
All right. Dead. Okay, you know what, ladies? I think I will call the day here, and in the next episode, we will make our way through uh, to uh, Whitechapel, and we will do some some story quests for for change. And uh, yeah, I'm really excited about how the story will progress. Thanks for watching, as always, guys, and we see each other in the next episode. Take care.